Hi, I'm Justin, CEO and founder of Cassidy AI. We started Cassidy AI to make it easy for people to customize large language models and AI technology to their specific business use cases. A little over a year ago, when ChatGPT was first released, it showcased the potential of large language models and sparked a surge of interest from businesses eager to deploy this technology in a meaningful way. However, without a massive engineering team, it's challenging for companies ranging from startups to enterprises to develop AI tooler, tools tailored to their needs. From day one, Cassidy has been focused on creating a product that is easy and intuitive to use, yet offers the comprehensive customization businesses require to address their unique problems. We've assisted thousands of companies in establishing automations that are precisely tailored to their needs in areas like customer support, marketing, sales, and even engineering. A key aspect of our offering is the versatility provided by various foundational models, and we're le leveraging Azure OpenAI services to build a reliable, scalable product that offers flexibility to our users. Ultimately, we're empowering people like SDRs, marketing managers, lawyers, who may not even know what an API is to create applications using AI to automate their unique work. They connect AI action blocks together, incorporate their company specific knowledge and automate tasks that are uniquely theirs. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to pass our, I'm going to pass to our AI product manager on our team, Jake Ros Rosenthal, who's going to do a demo of the product, break down some of the popular use cases and how we've thought about building a product that enables non-technical people to take advantage of AI and the product decisions that we've made to do that. You'll also have an opportunity to see how we've used Azure OpenAI services. So passing it to Jake, take it away, Jake. Thanks, Justin, for the intro. Hey, everyone, I'm Jake Rosenthal, AI product manager here at Cassidy. Like Justin said, super excited to walk you through our platform, which is designed to make powerful AI tools easily accessible to all, regardless of technical background. So with that being said, let's jump into the demo. All right, so here we are in Cassidy, and there's three core concepts and features to know about. And I'll be sure to point out the different ways we made this with accessibility in mind. So first is the knowledge base. This is where businesses import and sync their data from the tools they already use, such as Confluence, Google Drive, Slack, Notion, and many more. In terms of making AI accessible, being able to seamlessly integrate with existing tools and apps is really important. And ultimately, it makes adoption much easier for businesses. Now, the next feature is our AI chat, where you can use assistants that are customized to your business and connected to your knowledge base, which I just showed you. It allows you to ask questions like, what is our vacation policy to an internal knowledge assistant? Or you can switch to the customer service assistant and ask it for help drafting response to a customer support ticket with reference to documentation that you may have uploaded. And if you click on any of these references, it'll take you directly to the source in your knowledge base. And we make it really easy for anyone, non-technical people, to be able to create and configure these purposeful task-specific assistants and then share them with their teammates for them to also be able to use. And one of the ways we were able to accomplish this is by creating a really simple and intuitive UX for creating these assistants. So just to give you a taste, to help with the common blank canvas problem that users often face, we made it so you can quite literally just describe what you need from an assistant in plain language, and Cassidy will take that and complete a big chunk of the setup for you, which is a really nice and awesome feature that we have. Or of course, you can configure it yourself and update the assistant settings at any time, and we've really tried to abstract the complexity for the end user in this area and use UI patterns that are really familiar to them. For example, we make it really easy to switch between the best models, like the ones offered in the Azure OpenAI service, as well as easily being able to add and remove instructions or analyze your brand voice, as well as connecting it to the knowledge base. And the other added benefit of using Azure's OpenAI service is that it lets us do this all in a secure cloud environment co-located with our other services. And this is something that's very important to our business customers, which again, plays a big role in our ability to increase confidence and adoption and ultimately get more and more people using AI and Cassidy in their daily work. And on that point, I'll add another note here, which is that you can access these assistants outside of Cassidy too. Like with our browser extension that acts as a co-pilot to do work directly in an app like Outlook, for example, to answer emails. 
Now, switching gears, the last feature I want to talk about is AI workflows. We're really proud of the work we've done here in this area to make it incredibly easy for anyone to be able to build complex AI automations. We've had clients show us some of the workflows they've created on their own, and it's totally blown us away. And the key is that it's all no code. It's as simple as combining blocks like the ones you see here. Let's go ahead and walk through it. This is our ticket prioritization workflow, and it's a popular use case and a great way to streamline customer support. Essentially, every workflow has a trigger like this one, which is for new tickets in Zendesk. You can also have manual, scheduled, webhook, and integration-related triggers. And what happens is that each time a new ticket is received in Zendesk, we use an action block to determine its sentiment. And if it's negative, what we do is we send our team a Slack message to tell us that, hey, we have a high priority ticket to go and answer. And again, this is all no code. So if we wanted to add an action, it's as easy as clicking this plus button and selecting from the list of pre-made blocks, where of course we have features related to our knowledge base, our assistance, and everything in between. So there's no doubt that no code is one of our main factors in making this technology so accessible. The other factors are that we made sure to provide documentation and help front and center with comprehensive guides that you can easily get to from the actual platform. Another thing we'll mention is we have a whole library of templates, which not only makes it easy to get started and to quickly add useful automations as part of your processes, but it also serves as an example to users of what a quality workflow looks like, how triggers, variables, actions all work together, and it reinforces a lot of the core concepts that are needed to be able to build these automations. And lastly, as is the case with assistance, we've made this super approachable by also having text to workflow where you just describe a workflow and Cassidy generates the setup for you. As you can see, not only are there a lot of powerful features packed into Cassidy, but we've also made sure to build them in ways that make them feel approachable and usable for all, regardless of technical background. And that's really been one of the keys for us, and it'll continue to be as we add more and more features. So as a recap, a couple ways to make AI tooling accessible while building your product. One, think of how to make adoption easier. That includes integrating with existing tools like we did for our knowledge base feature, as well as using a secure cloud environment that gives businesses confidence and instills trust. Number two, solve the blank canvas problem if you can by using AI as a launching pad. It's really, really helpful for us. And finally, use familiar UI patterns and no-code concepts to abstract complexity from end users. And that's it. So we hope this walkthrough helps and that these tips are useful in understanding how to build better AI products that anybody, including non-technical people, can use. With that being said, thanks for watching.